So now we're out and about um, and we're going to try and take some pictures with these pinhole cameras that we've made out of beer cans. I'm in a lovely beautiful place in the north of Essex called Castle Headingham. They have kindly let us use the whole place for the whole day because they're closed to the public today. Um, let's see how it goes. So I'm about to take um, a picture of the castle. Uh, as you can see, I'm quite close. Um, I've also put this bench in here so that I can get these lines from the bench leading me into the castle here. The exposure time we think is around four seconds. Um, so I'm gonna peel it off and then say to my lovely assistants over there, they're gonna time it and tell me when to stop. Well, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready when you okay. ask me. Go. Stop. So there you go, we've just exposed the can. Um, the other thing you need to know is to try and keep your can as still as possible throughout the exposure. Go. Okay. Right, what I'm going to try and do is get this nice close up of this foliage here, along with the building. We're going to expose to about 10 seconds. It's still pretty light on this building where it's reflecting off it, so we're going to see how we get on. Okay, right, Dan, are you ready? Ready. And go. Five, eight, nine, ten, stop. I'm going to try and take a picture with the castle in the background and all of these kind of rocks in the foreground because they're doing some renovation works here at the minute. I want to lift the camera a little bit so it tilts up, so it looks up at the uh, castle and uh, I'm just going to rest it on my phone, lift it up, um, the exposure will be, what do you reckon, down about, what did, seven? about seven, yeah about seven I think like, like what we did before so I'm going to go for seven seconds and um, let's go for it. Go. Five, six, seven, stop. I think that moved a little bit, you know, I think it wobbled, but we'll see how it comes out in the dark room. Here's one of the shots. Um, this is of the, there's a van there with a castle in the background. Really pleased with that one. I was exposed at about, um, uh, that, this one was exposed at four seconds. It was at the beginning of the day when it was a bit brighter. Here's one of Scott's from the bridge. Uh, the bridge that comes up to Castle Headingham. Great picture. Um, I don't know who took this one, but it's still a good shot. You can see, even with a really wide angle, we still couldn't get the top of the um, castle in with that one. This is one of Danny's, and if you look at the top there, the top of the picture, you can actually see Danny's head. Um, that's how wide these cameras go, and she's looking over as she's peeling off the tape. Um, it's a brilliant, it makes a brilliant composition, though. Um, this is the one where I was on I was on the truck and at the bottom there you can see like the rocks and the rubble that's inside the truck and the castle in the background. Um, really pleased with that one, that was exposed at about seven seconds. We've had a fantastic day here at Castle Headingham. Um, we've really enjoyed taking pictures with pinhole cameras and we also hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thanks a lot. <laughs>